Okay guys, today I'm going to do a wee variation of the hopper I did earlier. So these are some hoppers that I've been tying the last few days. Um, half hog hoppers I suppose you would call them, with a deer hair wing. Okay, very simple fly, but a great wee dry fly. And a subsurface fly, you can fish it subsurface as well. Okay, so look in the vise. Um, one of these full and mill short shank specials. So you could use the Camasan V160. As well, so it's, this is a size 10, so it's got a size 10 a gape, but a shorter body, like a 12, size of 12. Okay, color match the thread. I'm going to do a ginger one, so I'm going to use a light color thread. Take the thread down the body halfway, then back up to the top. What you're doing is creating a wee area to start the fly, leaving the back of the shank bare to keep it nice and thin. First thing we're going to use a bit of deer hair. Okay, just ordinary natural coloured deer hair. You could use different coloured deer hair if you wanted. Um, there's some yellow deer hair there. Entirely up to you. You could use black, you could use a grey, you could use even a hot orange. Just uh, just to make variants, you know. The original, as far as I know, had a sort of double wing. So the white, white wing underneath and an actual over the top. So anyway, you make it to suit what you fancy. Clump of deer hair. You need to take the rubbish at the bottom. You just put that away, take all that away. Now line up the tips. Take your um, hair stacker. Tips in first. And tap it on your desk. So you tap all that down. And the deer hair lines up. Okay, so take that out. Keep the tips together. I'm going to tie this in as a wing over the front of the eye. There's a broken one there, just take that away. So, length of the hook, just about the length of the hook, maybe a wee tiny bit longer for your wing. Okay, take that forward to the eye. So, you're going to pinch and loop right on the top. Keep, keep the deer here on the top. Soft turns to start with. You don't want it flaring, you don't want it spinning like a muddler head. So few soft turns to start and then bind it down. Now, as you're coming down the body, you've still got all these butt ends here. So what you want to do is, nice tight turn, pull the deer hair up, tight turn, pull it up. And what's happening is it starts to break it away. The thread actually cuts into the deer hair and it starts to taper down the body. So if you just keep doing that, working slowly down the body, pulling at the deer hair, Keep the thread tight and it'll eventually just crumble away. So, what you've now got is still got this bare shank and you're just going to take your thread down to the bend. So that keeps the body nice and slim. So I'm just going to tidy that up a few turns. Make sure the deer hair is still on top. That's pretty decent. So I'm going to take that down the body. Now, the ones I showed you earlier. Most of them are tied with pearl, a pearl tinsel for the body, right? That was the, sorry, the Opal Mirage, okay? For this one, I'm going to use a gold holographic tinsel, an orangey gold. It's probably bright orange, okay? You could use gold, you could use silver, you could use any colour you fancy. So, a bit of gold, uh, sorry, a bit of orange holographic tinsel. Tie that in on the side. That's nice and secure. Then the body seals for. So you can use a multitude of colours. I've used sort of um, reds, clarets, black. I've used this kind of olive, golden olive, and I'm going to use for this one ginger. So pick some of that out of the bag. Get a pinch of that out of your bag. And just kind of loosen it up a wee bit in your fingers. And then a nice thin spindle, a dubbing, and keep it nice and thin. No lumps. So you can slide that up, put another wee bit on, stretch it out if it's a bit thick, create a nice even spindle, a dubbing. And then all you're going to do is just wind it up the body, touching turns, create a wee taper if you want. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
up to the thorax area here and stop. Okay, and then take your tinsel, whatever you're using, barrage, whatever, holographic tinsel, plain silver tinsel, gold tinsel, whatever suits your, your um, seals for underneath. So three or four turns, trap that in, cut away the rest. Then hopper legs, so you can tie in the legs. Now, I've got three or four different colours here. I've got a kind of nice brown natural. I've got a sort of darker, melanistic, undyed, dyed orange, and dyed black. And I'm just going to use these kind of melanistic ones here. So, three fibres. Gather up your three fibres. Pull them out 90 degrees, line up the tips. Pull them off. Take that down your side. We turn to lock in. Okay, yeah, you can make the legs as long or as short as you like. I think they need to be at least the length of the hook, and just normally extend them a wee bit further than that. So another three for my side. Again, ninety degrees to the shank. Pull them off. Keeps the tips in line. And lay them on, lining up the other ones for the other side. So, a couple of turns to lock them in. Cut away the waste. Now, you're looking for a wee bit more of your seals for. Again, just dub it on. Nice and light, nice and thin. Nice and tight. So, just take that up. And then... You're going to fold this wing in half, so you're going to split it about half. Right? Take your deer hair back, keep it on the top, flatten it down a wee bit. And then take your seals fur and tie in the roots right there. A bit of seals fur to hold it down. Okay, that flattens the wing. You're going to brush that seals fur into the wing. Take your last bit, again, fold it forward, uh, back. Get a wee we kink with your fingers, so you just push it and pull it and flatten it to create a wee bump there and then build up some seals fur at the front. And then you do another wee bit just to bind that in. A wee bit more seals fur there. Again, just pull this back where you want it and build up a wee kind of head at the front here, the seals fur. Now don't worry if it's a bit rough because we're going to brush it off through anyway. So we take the thread down to the front, make a wee head. It's fine. Come straight in with your whip finish tool. Whip finish that. Now you can put a bit of varnish on there first, or you can put the varnish on later. It's up to you. I generally get a kind of double, double whip finish. Tighten it up. Cut away your thread. I just check there's nothing really kind of scraggly at the road that's hanging down too much, just clear it from underneath. And then take your velcro brush and you're just going to tear into that wing. Right. What you try to do is get the seals first picked out and comb that up into the wing. It just fluffs it all up, pulls some of the body hair through as well, strokes that back. Okay, so that's your half hog hopper. Now I've done them in done that one golden olive with a pearl rib. I did this one in black with orange uh, hot orange legs, and I did one in claret with the darker legs and the opal mirage tinsel. So find a colour that suits you, mess about, find what works best for you, give them a go. I really like to fish these on, probably fish two of them on a float line. And what I do is chuck them out, let them sit for maybe 20, 30 seconds, and then slowly figure out them back. And don't worry if they dive under, that's ideal. If they dive under, pull them along under the surface for a while, and let them float back up. Keep doing that till you work it back to the boat or back to the side, wherever you are. And it's really a great, great fly. They'll either take it static or they'll take it when it's pulled.
so you can fish it subsurface or out and out dry as well. Great wee fly. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.